Hi there! I'm so excited you've stopped by my YouTube channel one more time. As you know, at this YouTube channel, we deal with prayer and how to bring your request to God in a more definite, personal, direct, deliberate way. And so, today I have a word of encouragement just for for you yes so if you like this content stick around if my life lights up each and every day lord because you're pouring can flow in my way i can deny it it's like i'm standing at heaven's gate my life keeps shining and radiate oh yes so oh yeah so welcome back Today, I have a very potent topic for you, and it is entitled, Skip the Ad. Skip the Ad. Yesterday, I was watching a kid's show, and while the TV was on the show, there is a break in the show, and then you have a section where it says, Skip Ad. And I was unable to skip the ad because I was actually in the kitchen working while I was looking at the TV. And it took me about 10 minutes before I could finish what I was doing to get back to the TV on the remote to skip the ad, to continue watching the movie. And my spirit was buoyed up because on this Christian journey, some of us, we stay on the advertisement too long. What do I mean by staying on the advertisement too long? We stay on the gossip too long. Skip the ad. We stay on the backbiting too long. Skip the ad. We stay on the commotion and the strife and the malice and the contention when all we need to do is to skip the ad and go right back to the movie, to the scene where Christ is the center of your life, of your movie. Today, I am encouraging someone. I know you might be going to a path where you feel like you must stay on the ad and you must not skip the ad. You must just live in that space. You must live in that time. But I'm encouraging you today, continue watching the movie of Christ. Continue to feed on the word of Christ. Continue to let Christ be your guide, be your subject, be your motivation. Skip the ad, the contention, the news carrying, the carrying up income, the envy, the strife. Skip the ad. Skip it. Yes, sometimes we stay on the ad too long and we tend to get caught up and sometimes the ads are attractive. Sometimes what's going on on the ad and the promotion, it, it catches our mind and our attention and we want to stay on it. Skip the ad. Get rid of the ad out of your life, the advertisement. Skip the ad. Skip that part of your life that is being led in a, on a road that is destructive. Skip the ad. Some of us, we stay on the ad so long until we forget that we were watching the movie with Christ. We forget that Christ was the center of the attraction from the very moment we sat to converse. We forget that Christ is a leader. Christ is a director. Christ is the ultimate guide. We forget that Christ is a person that we need to, to be zeroing on, to be staying on, to be focusing on. Some of us, we get caught up with the ad advertisement in life, the ad that, that gets you our attention. The news came and you stick with it and you forgot that who, um, you forget that you were watching the movie with Christ. You forget that Christ was your subject, was your vision, was your focus. Skip the ad. Get out of that trap of being distracted by the ad. Use your remote use your intelligence use your your understanding of life use your vigor use your vitality use that finger that right finger press on the remote of your life skip the ad yes for too long we envy people and we made that envy become a part of our lives for too long we've been hurt and abused by people who are in our way skip the ad get rid of them out of our lives skip the ad don't be focused on the 
the advertisement that is in front of you. Sometimes the advertisement is attractive. Sometimes the news we're hearing is attractive. Sometimes the things that we are discussing is attractive. But skip the ad. Yes, put Christ back. Get rid of what you are doing that is distracting you and allowing the ad to be playing for too long. Skip the ad. Today I encourage you, my brother. Today I encourage you, my sister. Skip the ad out of your life. Some of us would be better off and some of us would be, be in a better place if we skip the ad. Skip the ad. Don't let the ads play too long, the advertisement play too long in your life. Don't let the advertisement corrupt your thoughts and your mind. Skip the ad. Yes, keep the ad. The promiscuity, the, 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 the malicious talk, the destructive criticism. Skip the ad. Some of us... We pay so much attention to the advertisement and we want to see what the end of the advertisement and the product of the advertisement is all about. When all we need to do is just keep the ad and focus on what matters most. And that is the center of Christ. Back to the movie that you were watching. Back to the scene where you were. Back to the phase of life where you were. Keep the ad. Yes. What did I say? Skip the ad. The next time that someone come to you and they're bringing something that is not attractive to you, skip the ad. Tell them not no. Tell them no. Skip the ad and you will see that when you wait for Christ to play out in your life, you will see that you are better off because you have purposed in your heart to skip the ad. So brothers and sisters, today at this YouTube channel, I'm encouraging you, circle members, I'm encouraging you, skip the ad.